Hello, my dear students. For this lesson, we are going to study about graphical analysis of motion. In this particular topic, we are going to understand the motion of an object by studying their motion diagrams. So we are going to look at two different types of motion diagrams, the position time graph and the velocity time graph. And from them, we will, we will be able to calculate quantities such as the velocity, the acceleration, and the displacement of the object or person of interest. We have three objectives in this particular topic. The first objective is to calculate the slope of the position time graph to get the velocity. The second objective is to calculate the slope of the velocity time graph to get the acceleration. And the last objective is to calculate the area under the velocity time graph to get displacement. So first, calculate the slope of the position time graph to get velocity. When we say position time graph, ibig sabihin natin is we will um, graph the position and time values of the object's motion. So for the x-axis, you will find the time here. And here, you will find the position. Let's call that D. If you see a graph like this, this means that the object stays at this particular position throughout the time interval. Kapag ganito na naman, let me just draw D and then T. If this happens, if you have a graph like this, this means that as the, um, the object is moving to the right. And then if you have something like this, the object is moving to the left. Okay, so we know that if if we look upwards here, if we follow this axis upwards, we know that the values are increasing, the right? So, pag paakyat yung graph, ibig sabihin, it is increasing in um, position values. Ibig sabihin, lumalayo siya from zero. But if the graph looks like this, so if we follow the graph, it's going down. It is sloping downwards like this. That means that from a far away position, it is approaching zero. Okay? From a far away position, it is approaching zero. So that means it is going from right to left. It's moving to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and learn this. Example number one for slope of position time graph. Determine how fast the object is moving. So we are looking for velocity or the speed of the object. First, let's just uh, study the graph. So on the y-axis, I have time. The unit is seconds. And rather on the x-axis, on the y-axis, I have displacement or position. The unit is m or meters. Now, um, I see that the object was at zero the origin during the start, and then it ended here. So the object traveled for, let's say it's this is 10 seconds, and then it was able to get from a distance of zero hanggang, let's say that's 35. Remember, the formula for velocity is change in x or change in position over change in time. So this just means that you have to get the difference between the initial position, which is zero in this case, and the final position, which is 35 in case in this case. And then the time interval, how gaano siya katagal gumagalaw sa taas, gaano kalayo siya from the initial position. Okay, so alam natin na it was moving for 10 seconds and 
it got uh, from 0 to 35 meters. So that's what we are going to put here on the variables on the equation. So 35 divided by 10 is 3.5 meter per second. So that is the speed of the object. Second, okay, so this graph is a little bit different. The first one, it was sloping upwards. So the slope is positive. So pag sinabi kong slope, um, I am talking about gaano katarik yung kanyang graph. Is it uh, very sharp or is it very gentle or um, flat? So dito, ang kanyang slope ay downwards. So that means negative ang kanyang slope. That also means that your velocity value would be negative. Okay? Just remember that a positive value of velocity does not mean that it is speeding up. It only means that yung object mo ipapunta sa kanan. Um, pag naman negative yung velocity value mo, it doesn't mean that it is slowing down. It only means that you are going to the left. So, in this example, the object is traveling for 2 seconds. Nung una, nandito siya around, I guess we could say 125 meters. And then, bumalik siya papuntang kaliwa para marating yung 0 meter. That happened for 2 seconds. So, again, our formula is like this. Gaano kalayo sa starting position, di-divide mo lang sa gaano katagal nag-travel o nag-move. So, gano'n siya kalayo from starting position, that is um, 0 minus 125. So, negative 125, nag-travel siya for 2 seconds. You can do subtraction, but when you do the subtraction, you have to do final minus initial. So, ano ba yung um, final position mo here? Your final position is at 0 meters, di ba? Your initial is at um, 125. So that's 0 minus 125. That's why your answer here is negative 125. But you know, to make things simpler, if you see a slope like this, that means your answer for the change in position would be negative. If we do the division, the answer is negative 62.5 meter per second. Okay, again, we have a sloping upwards graph. Um, the difference here is it didn't start at zero, at zero, um, but at the position of two meters instead. So be careful with your calculations later on. The object is traveling for 40 seconds. From two meters, narating niya yung eight meters. Sige. How fast? What's the velocity? What is the change in position? Ayan. So hindi tayo magsasabi ng ang change of position ay eight. Because in the first place, we started at 2. So, gaano to kalaki? This difference between the two of them. So, 6, right? And then, 40. So, 6 divided by 40 is 0.15 meter per second. Okay. Now, um, the object started moving at, let's just say, uh, it's 2 seconds. And then, ended moving at 7 seconds. It was at 20 meters, and then I guess we can say this is 70, just for the sake of simplicity. And again, we are asked to solve for the velocity. Okay, so again, be careful with getting the difference. Velocity is equal to change in position, 20 naging 70, so Sloping upwards, positive ang answer ko dyan. 70 minus 20, that's 50. The difference is 50. Dito naman, 7 minus 2, that's a difference of 5. So, answer mo ay 10. Okay? Okay, so some problems are going to be composed of several segments. I mean, your graph is going to be composed of several segments. Um, that just means that your object was moving at different speed throughout time. So here in my graph I have four segments. You have to you should label them you should label your segments A B C and D. Okay? So paano ko masasabi na um that's a segment 
just uh, they have the same slope. This one is similar slope. This one is similar slope. This one and this one have similar slope. So I label them A, B, and C. And D. Okay, so before we go ahead with answering it, we have to first analyze the problem and predict the values that we are going to get. Diba? How fast, again, the answer is how fast. So that means um, I have to solve the velocity for each of the segments. So I would have four different answers in this case. So the object um, started moving at zero seconds and then it stopped. Let's say that's 500 seconds. Um, let's take a look at segment A. My slope is rising. It's positive. My answer for velocity here would be positive. It's moving to the right, diba? Kasi from zero, nakarating siya from to 500 meters. So definitely moving to the right. That only happens for 100 seconds. And then from 100 seconds to 200 seconds, my interval is uh, 100 seconds. It moved from 500 to 250. So definitely it slowed down, right? Because in the first 100, it was able to travel 500 meters. But here on B, on the second 100, it only traveled 250 meters. At letter C, I look at it and then I see that my slope is zero. We say is slope is zero because flat lang siya, it's horizontal. What could that mean from 200 to 300? My position remains the same, 750 meters. So in other words, I was, or the object was at rest at segment C. And then at segment D, it was able to move from point D, uh, from this point, 750 meters, until maradena ulit yung zero position. So the slope is downwards. I move to the left from 750 meters to zero. And that happened for or over 200 seconds. So from this graph, I can look at it visually and already determine which in which segment I was fastest. Diba? If I do it uh, visually, if I use a little bit of logic, I look at segment A and nakita ko na yung slope ko dito ay parang matarek compared with segment B. Diba? So definitely, I move the object move at a faster rate than um, at A compared to at B. I look at D and I am tempted to say na dito siya pinakamabilis kasi parang ang haba nung narating niya from 750 to 0. But I have to remember that ito nangyari siya for 200 seconds but this only happened for 100 seconds. So my bet is I was moving the fastest at point A and then second fastest is D and then B, and then last would be C. I'm not moving at all at this position, or the object, rather. Okay, let's start. Let's start at solving velocity at segment A. So this is my formula. I move from 0 to 500, so I change position by how much? By 500, and that happened for, or in a duration of 100 seconds, so that's going to be 500 over 100. Answer is 5. At point B, that happened for 100 seconds as well. Galing akong 500, pumunta ako ng 750. So my change in position is 250, right? So 250 over 100, that's 2.5 meter per second. At point C, walang slope dyan. So alam ko na dapat na yung answer ko is zero, ba? I didn't change in position. So, I shouldn't have any velocity. Remember, velocity is change in position, change in x over time interval. So, the answer is 0. At point D, 750 again 0. So, that's 0 minus 750. If I do the final minus initial position, it would be a negative answer. That happened over 200 seconds. So, my answer is negative 3.75 meter per second. Okay, so that is how you 
get the velocity from the position time graph by computing the slope of the graph.